part of being a chef in the city is it, it doesn't matter. I've known Food & Wine Best 10 Chefs in America in 98, been on Food Network before with a show called Melting Pot that was very big in prisons and nursing homes. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Lola had won a, a glutton of national awards. As a chef in Cleveland, other places around the country really didn't care. It's sad, but it's, it's true. So we didn't get offers to consult here, do this here, do that there. I went Iron Chef, and suddenly, like, to the rest of the country, I just learned how to cook. <laughs> like, and all these calls are coming in. Oh, we want you to develop a concept for us. We want you to do this over here. We want, so, now we're in this weird spot. All right, what do we do? We got it. Are we going to grow? Are we not going to grow? Uh, we need to make some decisions here. We need to make them fast. These things are flying in like crazy. Th this is my last business advice for you: is I was fortunate enough to have friends in the business that had been there, and uh, Bobby Flay has been a dear friend of mine for the past 15 years. He's been like my uh, what do you call a person that like tells you what to do all the time. Mentor, thank you. I'm a chef, I barely graduated from St. Ed's. <laughs> so, I had Bobby, so I call him up, I'm like, dude, I'm freaking out, I don't understand. All these people are calling me, I don't know what to do. He's like, you don't need to rush anything, they will keep calling. Well, first he said, how long is your contract on Iron Chef? <laughs> so, we said, all right, everybody, let's take a deep breath. Let's figure this out. We decided to bring on a director of operations, Sam Lindsay, who's a terrific operator. We meet with Starwood Hotels. Starwood Hotels, who's W, Weston, uh, St. Regis, and Sheridan, comes to Cleveland. They look at our operations. They say, we love what you do. We want you to start developing concepts for Starwood. What does that mean? So what it means, it's, it's a really great thing. It, it's really worked out great for us to this point. I, we haven't even opened one yet. We opened today. I drove it, that's why I drove I drove it from Detroit this morning, right after this, I drive back to Detroit. Our first day open at Roast is, is this evening. So I don't have